Hey, howdy, cowdies. Hope you're going good. It's wet. But it's weekly walkabout time at the Collector. <laughs> We've got another Ripon auction this week. Got heaps of cool stuff. Old Essendon membership cards from, I think, 1942 through to about 1956 or something. Good group. Got some old Simpsons minifigures over the back there, Series 1. This is all VFA membership medallions, cards and badges. Some big brass sort of OK check tokens. This is a nice collection of military ephemera. There's some medals in those cases. Australian Defence Medal, a National Service Medal. We've got lots of little tokens and coins this week as well. Some nice trench art. few nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet. And yeah, we've got heaps of cool retro stuff this week. We've got the Cartel Anna Castelli little drum storage cabinet. Um, modern sort of pair of Acapulco chairs. Cartel stools or side tables, whichever you want them as. Nice big Danish deluxe uh, couch or day bed, all original. It's in pretty damn good condition. These are cool, the big sort of green 1970s blankets. There you go. With the label on them. Another little uh, Anna Costelli cartel little yellow drum storage. Another nice cartel hostess modular shelf. Here's a little ripper, the chrome planet lamp. And he's nice, the Kodak darkroom light as well. Some old metal petals. He's a great little retro Sort of bachelor table and chairs made by Aristoc. Nice big sort of winter trench coat, European. And this is a fantastic lot of sort of post World War II Swedish naval uniforms, hats. You got summer and winter ones, waistcoats. Really nice lot. DVDs, records, rock and roll sort of stuff. Another little rock, little lot of records. Bill Haley, Jethro Tull, Johnny Cash. Some sort of cool stuff in there. The Watney Silver Band. Buddy Holly. CDs. Grog. Signed Birmingham City soccer jersey. Kitchenalia. Golf clubs. More CDs and stuff. Books. Some nice old galvanised sort of buckets and watering cans. Nice sort of old concrete garden planters. A couple of cool sort of retro ones in amongst. Some nice picture frames, healing golden voice console radio. There's a nice little bench seat with the lift up storage underneath. HMV record player. This is all photography stuff, nice big group. We've got some coins, box sets of proof coins, badges, $2 coins, some old HH Webb skateboard wheels with their bearings. What else have we got? Here's a ripper, really heavy mahogany gate leg drop side table. Nice big sort of dome top trunk there we've put with a little wine sort of rack. Nice box of vintage and modern comics. There you go, there's heaps of cool stuff in there. Um, some toys, slot car, playstations, Dyson vacuum cleaner, some Madonna prints. Some cool sort of Balinese and other Eastern masks. Look at that guy. What else have we got? Old Scout Poncho with heaps of sewn on badges and scarves and stuff. More masks. Ceramics, the Dalton candlesticks damaged. Sort of novelty bagpipes and a record. Some more records. Collection of blue glass and ceramic birds. This is a nice little group lot. The Worcester cake plate over the back, Royal Albert and the other bits. Some big old bound volumes of the Otago Daily Times, 1923. Nice little portable Astor record player. Another nice little record player there. The Phillips Interdin. Some more big bound volumes of the Otago Daily Times. There's a nice couple of leather suitcases. What else have we got? Little retro typewriter, nice collection of glass, drink sets in amongst. Golf balls, planes, some good paintings and stuff this week. Peter Fennel oil, some ripper of a Carlisle Jackson watercolour. It's not foxed. 
just really nice. And this thing, big Johnny Taylor abstract oil, dated 2020. It's a really nice thing. Pretty damn cool example. Some Sam Wells cartoons, all hand done, Collingwood. Fitzroy and Geelong. Good old Sam Newman, Holly Farmer. It's a nice Japanese wood plot by Genki. Nice little watercolour there. Kangaroo Paws is signed. I think it's E.M. Cook or H.M. Cook with an E on the end of Cook. Just really nice watercolour. Speaking about really nice watercolours, there's the two Max Angus watercolours. Now these are both foxed. There's both these brown spots coming through on the paper, which is a shame, but they're nice examples. Really like this coastal scene with the wild and woolly tree on the right-hand side. The foxing probably can be taken out depending off the pictures are stuck down on the backing board or not. There's a couple of nice little carved ebony figures. Art Deco lamps, pretty cool. Some more vintage magazines, mix lot, sporting life, and there's mad and new ideas and stuff like that in amongst. True Detective... A new idea, good stuff, there's heaps of good magazines, there's all vintage people magazines, they're all in very good condition, some good records, some angels records, The Who, Peter Townsend, Blue Oyster Cult, a couple of Billy Thorpe albums, these are great lot of pin-up girl magazines, man, man, there's annuals, gals and gags and stuff in amongst, but once again all in great condition. Another good group, lot of records, the Beatles, the Stones, Credence, a little lot of tribal stuff, including a sheath. This is a nice little brass lantern, it's just in pieces, needs to be put back together again. Little Caltex Tinza Ripper, Spinning Wheels reissue record, I think sort of 60s Australian band. Another group, lot of Australian vinyl, Mental as Anything, uh, Billy, Johnny Young, Bobby and Laurie, LRB, Rolling Stones picture disc single, nice Belgian lamp, some big Balinese carvings, there's more cool magazines down the bottom here, all in really good condition, some Phantom comics, toys, this is a pretty cool bit, the bottle of Chianti, just sort of shaped like a lamp with a candlestick, Beatles books, Oriental scroll, Nice little box of cigarette lighters and stuff, and the nice big heavy gauge leather belt. Carved wooden items, some more retro. Little bits sort of deco and retro. A little group lot there with the Balinese carving, the mask and the teapot's got damage on the lid. Nice group of pottery, remued, I think Newtone or Bakewell's over the back. These are cool, the blow up sort of beach balls, advertising total and mobile. Fire hose, sort of part of a fire hose nozzle. Heaps of trading cards. Cricket, rugby, soccer, Dick Tracy and wrestling. Brownie Downing, cameras. It's Lord Byron, bronze. Little group with the lovely old Blue Mountains view booklet there, which is slipping down the back. Let's just fold you over and pop you there like that. Keep him out of trouble. Some more good little group, a lot of uh, Disney comics. He's cool, the Chris Achilleos book. Nice little figure there of Queen Elizabeth. Australian pottery and some nice little sort of cards. Bears, art glass, matchbox. Some more good magazines. Some Rollinson engravings over the back, Dr. Syntax. Some more nice masks, little hand-coloured prints. <laughs> Good little group of pub and alia or bar gear. Unusual little sort of continental sort of art deco tea set. Unsigned sort of ceramic bust there. Some nice early engravings. Columbus and Cortez and stuff discovering America. Some Dalton. Nice bit of glass because some easy beats. Really nice little Baker like spice canister set. And a really nice Italian blue glass kitchen sort of canister set. It's really nice. I like that. Another big lot of Australasian Post magazines. A couple of pretty cool hand-drawn caricatures. Just forgotten the artist off the top of my head. They're both signed B-A-L. 
Uh, but this is uh, somebody, Gillett or Gillett, who was the mayor of Melbourne in about 1889 or something. There's a nice old uh, 17th century engravings after Van Dyke. Some sort of deco, deco style light shades. <coughs> Little retro National Panasonic cassette. Lovely old riding box, nice bit of carnival glass. Nice old photo. Thorns whiskey advertising decanter. Couple of nice bits of Dalton. More Dalton. Watercolours are really nice over the back there, or gouaches of Australian colonial military uniforms. There's no signatures on them. Another nice little retro orange. Arabia. Couple of nice bits of glass. Speaking about nice bits of glass, the Italian, I think, Salviati or something. All hand painted. Another lovely whiskey decanter. Nice bit of glass. Ellis. Uranium. I think Costa Boda signed over the back there. Lovely big vase. Little National Panasonic Panapet radio. There's two of them. That one's a little bit more discoloured than that one. And he's a ripper, the National Panasonic wrist radio. And come on, I'll show you some of this other cool, pretty cool stuff. The Weltron GEC 2001 little cassette player radio that works. A ripper of a little unit. Lenko turntable's a ripper. Another little GEC Weltron 2001. This one does not work. Speaker cords have been cut. Does plug in, but when you push the power, no lights come on. JVC video capsule. He's a little ripper. He works. Another little JVC space helmet TV. He works. Weltron 2007 GEC uh, UFO stereo system. He's a ripper. It lights up and it works. The turntable is frozen or stuck, so it does need a service. Um, it's not a hard fix. It also just, I've noticed that it needs a little clip underneath the hinge of the lid here to hold the lid up. Absolute ripper of a bit. So they're all cracking things to end the auction with, so that this one's going to be the last lot. And yeah, hopefully you saw something you liked, guys. Hopefully we see you tomorrow night. Bring your gumboots and your raincoats, though. Apparently it's going to be wet. Heh <laughs>